remember one time we had a big snow. And we walked about four miles to slide down this big hill with a sled. But we had fun. But we had to walk four miles home. Yeah. <laughs> In the snow. We carried the sled up there, but I think we, we pulled it home. But that being down in Arkansas, I remember too that we had some big snows with sleet on top of them that wouldn't even break through the snow. And it was, well, you could step over the, the uh, fence. It was just just about knee high, the, the snow and sleet, and the uh, horses would fall down on it. Of course, that's all the transportation we had was horse and wagon. We had fun. And the river would get out. <laughs> but it never did get under our house. It got out till they'd have to go from the house to the barn with uh, in the boat to feed the cattle and the milk. And uh, the barn was built on the kind of a high little knoll, and the house was on the high little knoll, and it was low between them, and the water would get there until they'd have to go through to the barn with the boat. Uh, and I remember one time water got in the uh, chicken house, but that's the only time I remember getting in the chicken house. And that's a, that's a job when you have uh, chickens roosting in trees and the river comes out. Mm -hmm. At night, you have to climb the trees and pick the chickens off and take them to the <laughs> in house and, and put them on the roost because otherwise, why when the but when morning comes and they fly down up in that water, they can't swim. And just float off. Yeah. Yeah. And your brothers used to do a lot of fishing in the river? Mm -hmm. They, uh, Rod and Hardy, gigged. Daddy was a uh, jack of all trades, I guess. He was a good carpenter. He was a uh, uh, blacksmith, and he he made uh, gigs from to fish with. And a gig would be like your fingers with sides cut out. So if it went in the fish, it would catch before it come back out. And um, 
they had uh, probably 15 foot poles on it. They would go some nights digging. Now, I don't know what kind of light they had, but I think they had a gasoline light that they fastened on the front of the boat. And one of them would dig and the other would paddle a boat and then they'd swap off. And uh, they'd come in maybe three or four o'clock in the morning with a boat load of fish and we had to get up and dress them. Because fish don't stay fresh long. Yeah. <laughs> Out of the water. Yeah. Uh, and mother canned them. And she, she uh, wrote the uh, pressure cooker company and they sent her a They sent her a thing telling her how how high pressure and how many minutes to cook them. I think she cooked them 120 minutes at 20 pound pressure, but the uh, bones was cooked up in them just like these fish you buy. And. Um, And we could have uh, a lot of different, well, she made a lot of uh, fish cakes. Uh, some, she'd have uh, carp and, and buffalo and uh, all kinds of fish. And we, uh, sometimes there were fish. <laughs> And one time, Ryan said on a Saturday afternoon, he, he made him a throw line that had three hooks on it. And he said, told Mom, I'm going to go over to the river and set it out and catch a 10 pound catfish for lunch tomorrow. And, uh, next morning why he told her well don't get the grease hot till I get back with it mm -hmm. and by golly he did he came back with a 10 pound catfish and I never remember him going fishing after that uh, he had he yeah uh, Daddy gave him a five-acre plot to plant corn on, and that was, he could make money off of that. Well, he bought him a uh, 22 gun, and he got his gun, and he was going to go duck hunting. And Daddy said, you don't duck hunt with a 22. It's only got one shell. Uh, but he went duck hunting anyway. And he came back with two ducks. And he had shot both of them right through the eye. He never went duck hunting again. Hmm. <laughs> he, he had accomplished that. <laughs> and he was about uh, 14 or 15 years old. And he's three years older than I am now. I'm 88. And he's 91. So, <laughs> and my oldest sister is 94, and my youngest sister is 85, and 
she just had a heart attack about a month ago. And uh, mm -hmm. they put in one stamp. She had the heart attack on Monday, and they was going to do heart surgery on Tuesday, but they couldn't get the surgical room, so they done it on a Wednesday and put in that one stamp, and she went home on Thursday, and she fixed supper when she got home, and she had supper and a hot shower and said she never felt better in her life. So she is doing excellent. But she said her back hurt her so bad she had never had pain anywhere as bad as she had in her back. And then when her son came home from work that night she told him she probably needed to go to the emergency room that her back had been hurting all day long. And of course he was filthy because <laughs> he's a, a maintenance man at a She was having a heart attack, and they told her they're sending her to Memphis, and she said, I won't go. She said, I'll go to Jonesboro, but we'll go to Memphis. So she went to Jonesboro, and she said, all I done that night was Take blood. Oh, I don't know. Um, emergency stuff. <laughs> oh well, he don't. He says cut. <laughs> 